This is a topic that hardly anyone wants to talk about. It's one that people like to hide behind closed doors, act like it doesn't happen, pretend like it's always somebody else and not you. And sadly, most people, if it's not involving them or their immediate family or friends or loved ones, they could care less. Young girls, little girls, teen girls, preteen girls are being raped, being sold into sex slavery, being orally, anally, vaginally raped, molested, sold into sex slavery, prostituted, having porno videos made of these disgusting acts and having pictures taken of these disgusting acts, compounding the already terrible pain these young girls are involved in. And who cares? I do. Jesus does. Let's go on from here and see what actually uh, is happening, shall we? As always, I start with scripture and I only use the King James Version Bible. Psalms 127, verse 3, just the first part of that verse. Lo, children are a heritage and heritage of the Lord. The term heritage means special, valued, chosen by God. That's pretty important what you say. What do you think God would think about endless men all over the world, even in your neighborhood, right in front of your very eyes or behind your eyes and you don't care to see and peel back the, the layers of the onion, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, subjecting young girls to violent oral, anal, and vaginal rape, sexual slavery, sold into prostitution, pornographic videos and pictures produced, sold and shared across the world of these vile acts, further damaging the already extreme damage caused to these poor children. This goes on all the time, and sadly, few of us even care enough to speak up, to be a voice for these poor, voiceless children. Is it because you don't care? What if it were your daughter, your sister, your niece, your granddaughter, your cousin, your neighbor, your friend? How would you react then? Well, of all these unfortunate girls, all of these unfortunate girls represent one of the above categories to someone or many people. It's someone's daughter, sister, niece, granddaughter, cousin, neighbor, or friend. And you should care enough to say enough and let your voice be heard because their voices have been silenced and can't be heard. Even though if no one else does, or just a few others do, I will never stop being a voice for the voiceless, for downtrodden women and children. I will never stop being a voice for the voiceless, for downtrodden women and children across the planet, because Jesus would be and is too. And I always try my best to emulate him. How about you? Will you be their voice starting today? Also pray for them. This is vital because the more people that seek God on any given issue, the more he hears and acts upon his and our behalf. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, or you used to know him, but have become distant, because you live in unrepentant sin and have become a backslider. Pray the prayer of the box below this video. Pray the prayer in the box below this video title. And do the next steps to be sure you go to heaven and not hell. This is also a great reason to share this video so the unsaved can pray the prayer as well. If you would like prayer for anything, send me a message and I will pray every day as long as I live. May God bless each and every one of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Take heart and look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon.